Hello and welcome to Bob Shiz Crafts. Today we will learn how to do the half double crochet. And for the half double crochet, it's really simple. All you have to do is um, take your yarn over your hook, put it in the hole, grab your yarn from the back, You'll have three loops on your hook, and you are just going to go through all three of those loops. That's a half double crochet. Again, we will wrap our yarn around the hook, go through the hole, wrap our yarn around the hook again, and go through all three loops. So, one more time, we are going to wrap our yarn over the hook, like so. Go through the next hole, and you'll see there's on mine, there's you know, there's two loops on the hook. Grab our yarn, bring it through, and then uh, put our yarn over the hook again and bring it through all three loops. Wrap our yarn over the hook, insert your hook into the next stitch bring your yarn through. You have three loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn over the hook again and then draw that through all three loops like so. And that is your half double crochet. It's, um, it's slightly bigger than your single crochet but slightly shorter than a double crochet. So that is pretty much it. I will continue to do a couple more just so that you can kind of see how that is done. Oops. Yarn over the hook, through the hole, bring it through, and through th all three. Yarn over the hook, in the hole, and through all three. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the stitch, grab your yarn, bring it through. There's three loops and then bring it through all three. And I'll just finish out this roll. If you uh, feel like you are really good at this and you have it under your belt, then no need to watch any further. And uh, if you'd like, you can continue to watch me complete this row. Whoops, forgot the yarn over first. There we go. And one more in the last stitch here. Now, what I'm going to do, since this isn't too much bigger than a single crochet, I'm just going to chain one. There's no rhyme or reason. I just feel like chaining one. You can chain two if you like to bring it up a little higher turn your work and then I skip the chains that I chained to bring it up if that makes sense. Yarn over your work, put it through the hole and we'll start the, the next row. And this is still a really nice tight pattern. It's great for things that you want um, Oops. Things that you want to uh, be warm, like blankets or hats or something that you want a very tight stitch but you don't want to do single crochet. The half double crochet is wonderful. And, oops, I did it again. Okay, so I'm just going to stop there, and as you can see, that's what the back is going to look like. And then this is what the front is going to look like. So I'll do a couple rows of that, and then, um, then we'll try a double crochet and see what the difference is there. This is what the single crochet looked like here. That was the single, and then this is the half double so that you can see the difference between the patterns.